Well, well, well. Welcome back, everyone. This is the next video. So, uh, essentially, just got back from the store. We got some uh, things. We got more heat wrapping. We got some bleeder valves. If you guys remember, one of my calipers has a stripped uh, bleeder valve, so we need to fix that because it stopped us from being able to bleed uh, this caliper all the way. So we gotta fix that before we can bead on the car. Uh, I got metal zip ties for heat wrapping because we kind of found a solution for these uh, banjo bolts back here to at least help keep keep them from getting too hot, hopefully. They're still gonna get hot for sure, but you know, just trying to mitigate the heat, of course. Um, we also plumbed our boost gauge, so this is the boost gauge wire. It comes up through here, zip tied to there comes up over this so it doesn't touch the upper radiator hose and we teed it into the PCV so it should allow us to see vacuum and boost pressure so that's that we'll see uh, how long this lasts I mean it seems pretty sturdy so I mean we'll see I don't have a uh, super crazy high hopes for that but we'll find out if we have to redo this we will it's not a huge deal just kind of want to get everything together for now um, Let's see, next, we also ordered the, uh, like a mounting system for this Mac valve. So we're probably gonna mount it back there somewhere. We'll figure that out when the piece actually comes in. But yeah, um, we had the new O2 sensor ordered. I got it, I got an NTK one from Rock Auto. Uh, the two recommended ones for my tuner were either NTK or I believe uh, Denso. So those are like the two OEM brands. Um, but for now, I'm just kind of focusing on like cleaning everything up. Like I put a little more heat wrapping on this oil line so we don't melt through this if our oil gets really hot. And uh, now I'm just kind of focusing on heat wrapping those brake lines back there. And yeah, so pretty much it's all I'm doing. I'm just replacing these plastic zip ties back here with metal ones. Cause I'm sure those plastic ones won't last very long. So yeah. Super simple, super easy. I might end up deleting the EVAP as well. I haven't totally decided yet. Not this one, this this line right here. Just cause it's adding clutter back there. I also need to undo this fuel line and then slide the rest of our heat wrapping over it so you can give it some protection. I don't want our fuel to get super hot. Um, cause I've noticed that even on just startups, it gets pretty warm, so. Definitely gonna do something, something about that. And yeah, so I'm just gonna replace those with uh, metal zip ties and then we'll find something else to do, trying to get everything done. So that way uh, when this O2 sensor comes in, we can just throw it in and then start like actually tuning the car, driving it around, doing stuff like that. Maybe go wash it, definitely needs a good wash, so. All right, well, that's done. That was a huge pain in the ass. Um, they're covered with this stuff, which is uh, good for 500 degrees direct heat, like touching it direct heat, nothing's touching it. So I'm hoping it'll at least help protect our brake fluid a little bit. I don't want it to get too hot. Um, like I said, this car is not daily driven. It shouldn't be sitting in traffic like all day for multiple days. So I'm hoping it's good enough for now. If I ever need to pull the turbo out in the future, I'll be sure to probably redo those a little bit better than I have. And look at that, Dean's here. All right, Whew. update time. So, had to take off this fuel line to slip on this heat sleeving. And then furthermore, the ghetto shit we did to the fuel line back there, which was rapid and exhaust wrap for time being. I didn't like that. So I wanted to use that instead, but I wanted to slip it over this just to maybe give it like a little bit of extra protection, but it wouldn't fit with this over the fuel line. So, but it's back there now. You can kind of see the silver. I'm not even going to like zip tie it or anything. It's like, shouldn't be going anywhere. It's pretty snug on there. So, but it's on there and uh, it gives me a little more peace of mind, but yeah, so now I have to just kind of reroute this fuel line back the way it was and then reattach it. And uh, that'll probably be about it for the fuel line for now. Uh, I think eventually 
It's kind of why I wanted to delete the EGR system or the EVAP system right here because it just it really makes stuff tight back there and yeah you don't really need it i'm kind of dumb but i totally forgot we had a turbo blanket so i slapped that bad boy on and uh, honestly when this cowling and stuff is on you're not gonna be able to see the tur the back of the turbo anyways and so not only is it ceramic coated for like 1500 degrees or whatever it is it's also got uh this kevlar shield so i should hopefully further help temps in the bay keep them down a little bit um but yeah they're just held on held down with like these little springs that like latch in and yeah i think it's pretty cool so <sighs> hopefully that saves our vacuum lines from the wastegate from getting fried too um but yeah super cool super cool putting on the finishing touches i really really wish i could put on all this back cowling and stuff but i can't until we get the new o2 sensor in because it's almost impossible to get at it from the bottom we actually are gonna have to do it from the top at least that's how i pulled it off with the down pipe still in so or i should say dean dean's the one that pulled it off sitting right yeah so yeah we're gonna have to get that in and then we can start like putting the hood on and all that exciting stuff i would really put the finishing touches on this bitch so but yeah, I think next uh, I'm probably going to get under the car and clean up all the tools and then I think I'm going to throw on the uh, sway bar because I keep putting it off and I just need to do it. <laughs> I can uh, go ahead and bleed the brakes, so at least re-bleed this side. gods oh shit dude oh you got the biggest cock ever dean all right um fluid's gonna go everywhere yeah so there's a rag right there let's grab that real quick all right well i hope you guys enjoyed that uh absolute uh shit show of us struggling to pull that valve off now we've got all the wheels off again hopefully for the last time and we're gonna bleed the brakes so all right Oh, we're on 4%. Fun. Uh, so, wheels are back on. Brakes are bled. Didn't really film it. The only thing stopping us from putting the car on the ground now is the O2 sensor. So, we're going to have to do that first. But, 
as soon as that comes in, the second it comes in, we're throwing it in and then we'll start taking more data logs, start tuning the car more, so. Uh, next clip should be that, honestly. There's really nothing else we can do to this car at this point, so. What's up? We back. Check it out. We got our uh, O2 sensor from Rock Auto. So, gonna open this up real quick. Boom. There we go. Here it is. It's a nice little unit. Uh, this is kind of sliding around on this little rubber piece. But here's the new O2 primary wideband um, OEM replacement. So, yeah. Uh, I just need to stick this in the car real quick. And then uh, there's one other thing. We did find another coolant leak. It's very slight that we're going to fix real quick. It's just this track tough piece on the side of the intake manifold. So I'm going to loosen this lock nut, see if we can't tighten this down a little bit more. And then just tighten everything up, see what we can do about that. So, yeah. I'm going to start with the O2 though, so let's do it. All right. New O2 is installed. It's dark. I had to do it all from underneath the car. So that's good to go. Um, we tightened as much as we could up here for this little coolant leak that we're having. Hopefully that fixes the issue. We'll find out. Um, but yeah. Oh, Dean is the best friend ever. Check out what he got me. And that little piece cool. It's a little piece of uh, billet aluminum. So this is a mounting bracket for, for our uh, boost controller. So I think that's pretty sick. Um, yeah. Pretty excited to actually try. Actually, it goes this way. My fault. The little holes are on the on the bottom there. If I can get it to fit with one hand, there we go. So that's how it's gonna go. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it's a badass piece for sure. So we'll install that tonight as well. Um, but yeah, now that the new O2 is in, we gotta start it up, fire her up, let her get hot, and uh, start doing some more data logging and. Hopefully, maybe we'll get to drive it tonight. If not, tomorrow. Um, shouldn't take more than a few days to like kind of get it tuned now that the kinks have been mostly ironed out. So, yeah. Whew. Hopefully, I don't have a sauce all over my face. Maybe. <laughs> all right. Uh, we're going to get back to work and uh, I'll update you guys whenever we got something to update you with. All right, folks, we're idling. Uh, we're just letting it get warm and then we will start the data log. So it's not quite there yet. Um, the car keeps beeping at me when I turn it on, like after it runs and then after a little bit, it kind of stops. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that has to do with the VSA or the ABS, but man, it's pretty annoying. So I gotta figure that out. Um, so this is weird. I, had, I found a rivet that fits it, but it ended up, we didn't even need it. I feel like we were looking around for a place to mount it and we saw a, an aftermarket rivet already in here. And it just so happens that that bolt fit, so. I mean, that's crazy, but it works. So the only thing I'm worried about is this uh, vacuum line touching this, but yeah, it'll probably be right. If it melts, then I'll know, but yeah, check that out. Isn't that cool? So it just sits there looking all pretty. Now we just need to wire it. We can do that later though. For now, it's just gonna be wastegate, but pretty cool. I love this mount. It's super badass. It doesn't move or nothing. So yeah. That means pretty much everything is mounted, finally, because that was like the last little bit that was going to be kind of annoying until we found that rivet sitting there, so. But yeah, uh, we're still waiting on Zach to send us back our new tune, so just kind of chilling until then. All right, y'all, big news, car's back on the ground. We're going to upload one more tune, and then we're taking it for a drive, five, ten minutes, uh, and then we'll start sending data logs from gas stations or wherever we stop with my hotspot and my laptop, so. The car is about to drive. We can't go wide open throttle yet, but we can hit a little bit of boost, or so my tuner says. So we are definitely going to be filming this entire experience. And uh, yeah, where is the fire extinguisher? Just throw it in the car? All right, cool. Yeah, we're definitely going to need that. Well, hopefully we don't need it, but what bottle of water? Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's going to be a, a hot bitch in here. So I'm going to upload this final tune. And uh, Dean here will be my camera guy while we film this little extravaganza. So, yeah, I hope you guys are excited as I am. Let's get to it. All right, guys, we're going oh, for yeah. the first we're sitting drive. In first gear, no gas, so it's a little jumpy. Probably not good for it. Yeah, it's not good for the clutch. That's fine. Yeah, that catch point is trash. All right. Unfortunately, it's dark out, so it's hard to see anything. Just keep it on. Right. Feel good. 
Denying the temp. turn this off before I get you know copyrighted or whatever so we're uploading the next tune that uh, Zach just sent us we've totally forgot to keep it on the boost gauge so I have no idea if it's even working properly but uh, get in the car now now we're gonna do a two to five K pull and uh, we need some new gas but fuck it I'm just gonna send it so <laughs> what you think dude you got a snack break, dude. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys could hear that turbo, but oh my god! <laughs> I put the camera uh, out the window, so hopefully. Oh uh, yeah, hopefully you guys got some sound clips. But uh, before I upload this video, I'll wait till tomorrow so we can get some daytime footage as well, make it a little easier for y'all to see. But tune's almost done. We're gonna go uh, do some miniature pulls, 
and uh, take a long ass data log and then do the process all over again. So, yep, oh, and there it goes, it's done. All right, let's get to it.